Good day everyone. I'm Adriel I. De La Cruz, a grade 11 student from Stud F. Franklin. So today, we will solve limits of trigonometric functions. So here, we need to evaluate the limits of the limit of second of x minus 1 all over x as x approaches to 0. The given angle is in radians. So in evaluating this limit, the numerator and the denominator will lead to indeterminate form. So we need to use the L'Hopital's rule. According to this rule, that the limit of f of x over g of x as x approaches to c is equals to the limit of f prime of x over g prime of x as x approaches to c. So basically, we need to find the derivative of the numerator and the derivative of the denominator. The limit of the derivative of second of x and the derivative of negative 1 all over the derivative of x as x approaches to 0. So the limit of the derivative of second of x is second of x tangent of x and the derivative of negative 1 is 0 because the derivative of a constant says that any constant its derivative is 0 all over the derivative of x using the derivative of a power and x here has an exponent of 1 so we copy 1 here and x raises to the power of 1 minus 1 so x raises to the power of 0 so according also to the zero property of exponents that any number raises to the power of 0 is equals to 1 so 1 times 1 equals 1 so the limit of second of x tangent of x all over 1 as x approaches to 0 so we rewrite this as limit of second of x tangent of x as x approaches to 0 so here we can now substitute the value of x which is 0 so second of 0 tangent of 0 second of 0 is 0 and tangent of 0 is 0 also so 0 times 0 is equals to 0 so the limit of second of x minus 1 all over x as x approaches to 0 is equals to 0 so this is our final answer I hope that you have learned something today, especially in limits of trigonometric functions. Thank you for watching.